using dissimilar metals in any application is one of the quickest ways to end up with serious corrosion and catastrophic failure. This premature corrosion is caused by a galvanic reaction, and understanding what it is and which materials create that reaction is critical when you're choosing components for your project. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Any industry that uses different metal materials must be aware of the problems caused by galvanic corrosion of dissimilar metals including automotive, manufacturing, and of course, roofing and construction. From using aluminum car parts on a steel chassis to installing copper gutters on a steel roof, the consequences can be swift and very expensive. So let's start by breaking down what galvanic reaction is, determine how it relates to metal roofing, and finish by discussing ways you can prevent issues caused by dissimilar metals. We're gonna jump into some science today, so hang on. Galvanic corrosion occurs when one metal corrodes in preference to a second metal, making electrical contact in the presence of an electrolyte. To fully understand this, we have to look at the chemical makeup of various materials. Different metals and alloys have a range of electropotentials, which means some metals are more active and some metals are less active. When an electrolyte, such as salt water, is present and two or more of these dissimilar metals come into electrical contact, the more active metal acts as an anode and the less active metal acts as a cathode. Take a look at this copper wire and steel nail. Copper is a less active metal than the steel, so if I expose these metals to an electrolyte, like salt water, the steel will corrode much more quickly than if it was not in electrical contact with the copper. In fact, the copper will corrode even slower than it would normally because it is in essence being protected by the steel. Here I've got a brass fastener wrapped in steel. If we look at our chart we saw earlier of the reactivity of different metals, we see brass and steel are far away from each other on the spectrum. It's good to know that the farther away two materials are, the quicker the more active metal will corrode. We know that to experience corrosion, these dissimilar metals must be in electrical contact with each other in the presence of an electrolyte. If these get left out in the elements, the steel should corrode even faster than in the copper example. So how does this impact our bread and butter here on the channel, metal roofing? There's a variety of materials that metal roofs can be formed from, and an even greater variety of materials that have the potential to come into contact with a roof. Think about window flashings, gutters, HVAC units, and on top of that, you have components of the metal roof itself that can come in different materials, such as clips and fasteners. Some of the most common examples we've seen of dissimilar metals in metal roofing include using copper gutters on a steel roof, even the runoff or backsplash from the gutter will corrode the roof. Aluminum and copper is another one. That corrosion usually happens slowly, but if it's in a coastal environment, that saltwater atmosphere provides a potent electrolyte and the corrosion happens much more quickly. At Sheffield, we've seen people use galvanized steel clips on a copper roof, which again causes the clips to rust out. So how do you avoid these problems? Do your research and understand what materials interact negatively with each other. Talk to your contractor, talk to your metal roofing manufacturer. They will be able to steer you in the right direction and build a complete system that works together. Lastly, if you end up adding something to your home or building, whether it be an addition or a satellite dish or solar, make sure those materials work with your metal roofing system and won't cause issues in the future. So those are the very basic principles of a galvanic reaction and dissimilar metals. Comment down below if you like this topic or if you have questions for future videos. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.